Okay, I'd like to cover a little bit about uh, banking and to show you how I teach my students uh, to be able to see angles of what's right and what's wrong. So what I have them do is to grab the two balls and I just throw them on a table and I tell them, well, you go ahead and you set up a bank shot that you think will go in uh, and just make it to what you see. So sometimes you'll get a student and he'll just put them up like this. He says, well, that looks dead to me. And I say to them, okay, we'll mark this shot and I want you to hit it dead straight and I do not want the cue ball to go to the left or go to the right. The cue ball has to stick dead center right there and see where that object ball goes and that will tell you whether you lined it up uh, the correct way or not. Now I didn't mark it or anything yet. Uh, I have it marked over here uh, which my friend already, uh, Bill, uh, set this up and he tried it and he got a little disappointed. But anyway, he needs a lot of practice. Huh? So this is what we would do. Let's assume that the, the uh, student put up this shot here. And let's assume that we stick the cue ball so it doesn't go left or right. Now we have to pay attention to what is it the object ball is doing. If I hit this shot the correct way, <clears throat> and you want to hit it with a bank speed, and the bank speed here probably would be around a five. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's see where the two ball goes. Uh, okay, the two ball went here. So that must mean, and my cue ball stopped, it didn't go left or right. So that's got to mean I set up the wrong angle. So if that were so, and I had marked this shot before, and I said, well, that bank shot went here. I must be wrong. So let's move something. So we will move then the cue ball a little bit to our right. Let's call it a half inch. And we'll repeat the same process. Hit a dead square in the face. Cue ball doesn't move left or right. And let's see where the object ball goes. Up, oh, it's a little short again, right there. So if we set it up again, of course, I always recommend that you mark the shot. So if this is where we started, we keep moving this cue ball a little bit to the right, a little bit to the right, like this, until we find the correct angle to stop the cue ball and get a good bank. Well, that was still a tiny bit short. Okay, so you get my idea. All right, so this is what it should look like with a speed of a five. And you're hitting the cue ball a half a tip below center like this. Say the cue ball, no left, no right. Now, in other words, you found the angle and you have to keep doing this to be able to see the angle. If you can't see an angle, tough shots, uh, bank shots are gonna be real tough for you.